Out here with Mark Good and Eric, doing a repeat of a trip we did a few weeks ago. Look at this water. That's Lake Bourne. Ooh. Oh, hello. Oh, oh. whoa, dude. You need a net? Do you have Not one? that big, I don't think, but I got him sideways. So. Oh. Like, that is a you nice get it, but fish. That's a nice fish on that. That's the one knocker she dog or Heden. Which one it is, but has that particular sound. Caught it off of the point right there where the water's running past. This is actually not a 16 inch, this is an 18. I don't think it is. Oh, oh. oh. Did you miss it? Yes. Oh, oh, yes. There we go. It's a trout, huh? It's got to be a trout. It doesn't feel huge, but a nice jerk. We got a little thing going on here. I just got exploded on. Mark's got a nice fish on a jerk bait. Yep, decent trout. On that shadow wrap. That is a decent keeper, too. What are you fishing with, Mark? Is that a, a spoon? No, this is a piece of shrimp. I knew this spot would be worth something, at least one fish. Red. Yep. Another red fish. We're going to let this one go. Yeah, it's not supposed to be about M. Hood just catching fish, is it? Right from the start, this is a run and gun fishing day because we can't find fish stacked up anywhere. There we go. Whoa. That is a, what is this thing? Trout, I guess. That's the red fish. Stuck in the weeds, man. A huge one. No, it's a bass. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bass. Green right. trout. Yep, he hit it well, but pretty guy. Yeah, so we're trying to fish a shallow flat about two foot deep along the edge of the Murgo. So I'm throwing a top water, but it's pretty much weedless or top water only environment. This is the general vicinity of the big fish that I missed last week. Oh, we got one. Nice. You got that red fish, huh? Yeah, I think that's what, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, that's what it is. Nice. That's a pretty decent one, huh? Oh, yeah. Nice one. This is a nice red. Look at that. Pretty. Oh, wow. Come on. Or is he just wrapped? Might just be wrapped. Yeah, it's just wrapped a little bit. Yeah, he's guess alive. You want to give up? I guess once you got on wrap. Yeah. But you know, I got a little bit more. In there you go. On days like this, my philosophy is to keep moving. Look for bait, look for birds feeding, any kind of activity on the surface. Look for clean water, look for moving water. In this case, from the north side of the dam, we saw dolphins and birds feeding on bait on the south side of the dam. So we made the multi-mile trip through the marsh around to the other side of the dam. Gas. Oh, sweetness. What'd you use? Trout, too. What you got on it? Lemon head. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's something. Nice. Yeah. Nice trout, too. Decent trout. Yeah. Sorry, Mark. Well, we have come to the it south side of the dam. Huh? Huh? It didn't even go all the way to the bottom. No, it was on like on the way down, floating down. Half ounce jig head with the matrix shed lemon head. We're on the north side of the dam. Didn't find anything there. We've been bouncing around trying to find fish. We were in Lena Lagoon. Didn't find anything in Lena Lagoon. We were in canals near there, nothing. But we see a ton of bait on the sonar here. South side of the dam. Keep the trout. And that shrimp for you. Okay. Oh, come. Oh, my goodness. What? <sighs> like.
like a gigantic drum, like oh really? That big. Shit, it was really? A monster. Took a swipe. Took the. I you had, went up to Yeah, I had it tipped with dead shrimp. I got a scale from it though. <laughs> Stole a scale from it. Little bite. Slammed no, it. No, it, no, it was hard. Slammed it. There you go. Whoa! You have got it. Somebody slammed it again. Man, your pole was bent over like. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, a bunch of drums. That's what I'm doing. I, I just saw three of them. They're probably hitting it. Well, That's cool. Just came up right there. Finally got it. There you go. All right, so finally we hooked one wow. of these guys. I thought you would go right after that, didn't you? Right out here. Got him. Got it. Ah. Still on there? Yeah. That's what they, they like knocked you on. Oh. Oh, man. Finally, one of us hooked one of those drums. There's a lot of black drum over here. <laughs> well, it's going to be a while. Oh my god. Yeah, that's, that's, that is a serious fish. So that's characteristic of a drum. They'll do that run like that. When I was down in Delacro one time, I had one on. I could not advance him. I, all I could do was hold on until it wore him out. Because I didn't want to crank down on the drag too hard. Line. If he's gonna run out of line, we might have to follow him around. Yeah, we might have to. 20 pound braid. How? What's your uh, leader strength? Same, 20. 20 pound mono. Ooh. Yeah, that's a lot of fish for that line. I get chills every time I see his back. Wow. There he is. Whoa. I bet he's going to look smaller when we get him out of the water. I don't know about that. Whoa! Oh man, what a beast! Do I have him in the mouth? Beast! Oh man! How about you grab, you're going to have to grab him in the tail and, and the head with the net. If we can get him alongside like that. Grab them at the in the front and the tail. Yeah. Oh man. Did we go offshore today or what? You could not have caught a bigger fish. Oh, that thing's mass. I'll bet you this is his new profile picture. Amongst? You're on. <laughs> That's insane. Woo! This is definitely a new PB. Uh. This is an easy 50, I would say. Yeah. Easy Let's 50. Get the head on that thing. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Look at the slime on the dude. One drum like that in a day is enough. So we escaped them. 
left the south side of the dam and hit the marshes along the Murrigo. Oh, oh, I got a redfish. I got a decent fish here. Oh, I, I got a speck. A decent speck, but I got him in the back. <laughs> that was what happened. Oh, he's a big speck, actually. Yeah, 17 inch. Fishing this chartreuse jerk bait. And uh, we're catching tiny ones, but there's a few big ones in here. Two. Plus, I got uh, yours. I, I got Some mine, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice stick. So we're catching trout within sight of the marina. Hopedale Marina. Crew fish out in the hole. Don't have to go far from the marina. Back to bouncing around again. This time we land at the convergence of bayous where oysters line the bottom of the deep hole. I help you use up that shrimp. Go for it. Oh, there you go. Yeah, go. Just getting rid of my dead bait. Oh, keep for trout. Got him? Oh, yeah. What? What have I got here? It's a drum. Yeah, it's a drum. Dead bait on the bottom. John and I. Yeah, you know what? Can you push in that hole? What? We are a little out of control here. Oh, you're good. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's a nice one. That's a better, better size of drum. <laughs> What was wrong with my size? That drum was I'm not a big enough man. Your <laughs> size of drum. Nice size drum. Good eating drum there. Oh, you got. Yeah, might be a bunch of drum here. Is what I'm doing fishing these dead shrimp. So I have half of my Shalmet rig, which is the sliding weight sinker floating jig head. I'm just threading this dead shrimp. This is a really dead one. I'm just threading it on this floating jig head. No swim bait on it, so it'll float on the above the bottom like that. Oh, working for drum. Depending on where you catch it, too. Okay, you got him? Yeah. Uh, this one's a little bit bigger. Probably going to be a keeper there. Yeah. Maybe it's a black, red drum hybrid. Dead that bait? Be, that's gotta be a drum. Huh? Dead, yeah, dead bait. Oops. Ooh, it's a red. Yeah, he don't like to see that boot. Yo. Nice one. Nice. That quick? Yep. A little trout. Oh, yeah. Another one, huh? We need to put the big drum picture with this drum. <laughs> We've got the full spectrum of drum. Look at that. Yeah, put the drum. 
coming our way here. See those dark clouds behind me. Those are gonna eat us up eventually. Fortunately, we're going this direction. So we just have to leave in time. And we'll be fine. So it was a good day. We didn't catch a lot of trout. We couldn't find more than two trout in any one place. Maybe maybe three trout, but maybe literally two trout. And we found trout in it six different places, but it wasn't enough to put together a box. But we did have fun with some other fish. Don't forget the giant drum. Record, boat record fish. All right, well, thanks for watching. And I hope you guys can get out and fish too.